After the short guide I did on getting started was creating and animating your own Paper Mario style characters, I got some feedback and even art from people who tried following the tutorial themselves. Both gave me an idea. If you've played the newer Paper Mario games, such as Origami King and Color Splash, you may have noticed the character designs have gone through a bit of a change. The black outlines, the flat colors, the much simpler animation, and in this case the white outline set surrounds the characters, or an offset if you want to call it that. I tried it on a recent character I did and I honestly think it looks really great when combined with the coloring and animation style of the Thousand Year Door. Here's how you can do it yourself in After Effects with your own Paper Mario style project or just about anything in general. To create the offset, we're going to be using three effects, Fill, Simple Choker, and CC Composite. You can find all of these effects in the Effects and Presets panel. But first, you're going to have to make the work you made so far all into its own dedicated composition. This is so the effect treats your work as its own single object and doesn't put the stroke around every single piece. Just in case, we're going to duplicate all of the pieces and their keyframes, and then select all the copies, right click, and click Recompose. Those copies are now their own composition. If you don't want the composition to be the same size as the canvas, go into Composition Settings and lower the dimensions. However, you should leave a good amount of space. If you only have the dimensions go to the very edges, the offset will be cut off. With Fill, Choker, and Composite applied, it's time to mess around with them so we can get our offset. The fill color should be white, you should check to see if CC Composite is set to in front at full opacity, and then you need to decrease the value in the choke mate. Yes, I said decrease. For the offset to show, the value has to be in the negatives. Mess with this until it looks right to you, and then play back the animation and see how it looks in motion. Yeah, that's kinda it. It's a simple effect, but honestly looks nice in motion, and as I mentioned at the start of the video, looks nice especially when compared with the coloring and animation of the Thousand Year Door. If you wanted to give the character you made alongside the tutorial that extra bit of flair, or even have other ideas in mind that this kind of effect can be used with, I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Yeah! <laughs>